I'm from the south and I wanted to make a southern sign to display out on my front porch. This way here is Alabama Crimson Tides. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to make an edge slit acrylic sign. This is quarter inch thick acrylic. Very clear. And right now I've got it that burning onto a template so I can see where I need to line that acrylic piece up and how well it's going to be if this is going to be in a good location. It looks pretty nice, don't it? I like that. So that's going to be on that. And so I'm going to lower this down. So I got that there. In order to mount this, that's a 10, 10 inches wide piece of acrylic right there. So I'm going to take this PVC pipe. Got to make it traditional. Got to make it a redneck fitting. Now you can buy this professional looking deal online and it's like 12 bucks for the stupid thing and it's got LEDs in it and you can customize the lights and all that stuff or you can buy a 10 foot section of this pipe here at your local hardware store for 3 bucks if you're going to be making a lot of these you can, this is what you can do find your vendor for that acrylic sheet on eBay get you one of these and you're going to measure out, and this is what I do, I'm going to measure out 12 inches. Okay. So you guys your 12 inches. It's going to be right there. And I got me a cutter. It's just a six, seven dollar cutter. You can buy it at the hardware store. I mean, you don't have to be too precise. But you want to kind of get it to where it's not too far from it. And with the way that this thing works, it ratchets. I'm going to pull it off a little bit. I got my mark made. You can hear the image burning in the background. I got it set to a faster speed so it can get done quicker. Typical size for an 8x10. Takes about 45 minutes to an hour to do. So, I got this piece here. And that's all it does is you're, you're ratcheting this piece here. Okay? Now you got your holder cut. This here will hold that acrylic. It's not completed yet. Optional to take and clean this pipe, but it's optional. This is just a piece of pipe I had in the garage. You get yourself a, a drill. Probably already have one at this point. Get yourself a cutting wheel. Dremel. What we're going to do, we're going to take this cutting wheel. I'm going to put it in this drill. I can't find my Dremel, so I'll put it in this drill. And all I do is I'm going to cut this. It's just the straightest line that you can cut. I mean, it don't have to be perfect, but you want to cut you a nice long line there. So what happens is you're going to cut your line here. And when you get the acrylic burnt into it, you can slide it. You have to separate the seams here. And you can slide this acrylic all the way down. And yes, it's going to make a mark all the way down. It's a thing. But where that's going to be at, you're not going to worry about it. You can't see it. And once I get all that stuff done, I'll show you what the next step to do for the edge slit. The edge slit part of it is just as easy as it can be sheet on here now. I got the, this template how I like it. And I changed that to 13%. And I like how this looks. So, 
change is 13%. When you go to the program, assuming you already have a laser engraver, go to this program called Laser Draw 3, and you're going to tell it mirror. So it's going to flip that thing backwards like this. You'll see Alabama backwards right there. And what that does is this, the image is going to be burnt on the top of this. So the back side would be protected from the weather. So the, the front side would be not etched. You want to do it that way. Otherwise your front side would be etched and then the scratches and stuff and whatever. So when you put your lighting on there, it's just so it illuminates. It's going to be so cool. I'll show you after this gets burnt. And this is going to take another 45 minutes and an hour to do. And then I'll get this pipe cut. And then we'll be doing the LEDs wiring up this next. Then you go on eBay. This stuff here, I'm buying a 15 foot roll for about 15 bucks. And as you notice, it says 12 volt DC. It's got positive on one side, negative on the other. It's got the little tab here, it's got the scissors. You can cut that. Cut it whatever length you want. Since that's a 10 inches for the acrylic, I'm going to measure 10 inches here. And this is waterproof, weatherproof, so you don't have to worry about it corroding. What's the bit? Next, you want to take your soldering iron. You want to solder your wires. You need a 12 volt 1 amp power supply. And I'm going to tin these wires before I put them on. Trying to get it in camera view. That's what's called tinning. You're applying the solder to the LEDs, to the uh, wire. And then we're going to take that same wire right here and attach it to this like that. Red going to positive black one to negative and you can burn right into this coating Solder.
I'm going to take put some electrical tape around this. I could put some heat shrink and went over it, but I'm just going to electrically tape each one, make it more waterproof. And you could take and put the electrical, there's liquid electrical tape, you can dip this in there, and it should seal that, make that waterproof. Now, all we gotta do is plug it in. And there's your LEDs. That's how simple that is. And once we get the color sheet done, we we'll stick the color sheet inside this. So it's just kind of a hack job. As long as it fits. We'll put the color sheet inside this. And then we'll leave enough space at the top that we can slide the LEDs on top of the acrylic sheet itself. And then we press it down on the acrylic sheet. Once you see how it's done, what it looks like in a final step, it's going to be pretty cool. The homemade lit up edge sign. Big neck style, using PVC as a mounting. Stay tuned. Using a flat tip screwdriver. Again. That's it. You might have to assist it as it's going down. You will have scratches at the top here, which you're not going to be able to see anyway. So this is the concept for that. So now, we're going to have enough space in between here and here. You take this, and you're going to slide it. If you don't have enough space, give yourself enough space. You give yourself enough space. You can take and press down on the pipe and acrylic. And now, what are your lighting effect?
there's your Alabama Crimson Tide. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching. And that's how you make a edge-lit LED sign. I'll see you next time.